It's the first fashion twinned Tuesday twinned. Let's see if I could <laughs> trend. How about that? Of 2023. And we've got Miss Sadie Turney here to talk about shapes and silhouettes because that can be important. Like not only do we have to find the right outfit that looks good, but then we want to see does it fit my shape? What's my silhouette going to look like? So many things. Yes. And you know, in 2023, you know, 2022, we've seen this return to work. We've seen in-person events and fashion has changed around that. And with this kind of reintroduction of dressy clothes and this movement away from athleisure, all of a sudden we've got new shapes. We're not seeing as many skinny jeans. We're not seeing as many flowy tops. Because and so, we got too big. To <laughs> right, so none of us can like, wear them anymore, so like, may as well shake it up. We're going to you a little bit with all the skinny stuff. <laughs> well, so when we look at these shapes, one of the things we're going to keep seeing are these statement sleeves. I've got them on today. You've yes. got a ruffle on yours. We're going to continue to see this. Now, when we look at a piece like this, what we want to look at is the body of it. So if we've got a big statement sleeve, are we also in a voluminous top or are we in a straight top? So with something like this, we can see this is a more fitted body. Yeah. And so that's gonna pair really well with a looser straight leg jean. Now, if it was fluffy like what I've got on, you would go with a cool. wider straight leg cut, okay. right? And so you're always looking for balance here. A look like this would be perfect for a person with a rectangular body shape who's looking to add some curves. I like it, yeah, because if it gets too busy here mm -hmm. and then it's too poofy here, you're just gonna kinda look just like exactly. a Exactly, so this is a great way to kind of add shape. And over here, we have the wide leg pant. I'm so excited about this. I am a pear-shaped gal, so this is, speaks That's to me. Jam. Yeah, absolutely. And so for a look like this, we have this awesome plaid pant. It's a comfortable, flowy material. But then we go with something really fitted on top, like this bodysuit, right? And bodysuits, again, are something that I think we're going to see a lot of. And we can make that kind of mistake of thinking like, oh, that's a very, you know, kind of showy look. You can pair them with a blazer or statement jewelry, and really, they can become work appropriate. You could switch this denim jacket out with a blazer. You could wear this work. You could put mm -hmm. it with a leather jacket, like a really cool brown moto jacket, and it yeah. would be awesome for a date night with a heel. So this is a really versatile look. Now, something like a wide leg jean, like I said, for your pear-shaped bodies, this is going to balance the curves of your booty and thighs out by having something tighter on top to show off the curves that you have up there as well. I like it, but with those wide legs, you've got to have something fitted up top, yes. or then it becomes again. Too. Absolutely. Otherwise, it becomes very shapeless. Yes. Mm -hmm, for sure. So last but not least, over here, we have the puddle flare. And I love talking about this puddle kind of movement. It's a different thing that we're seeing with the wide leg jeans, the trousers, and the flares. And what that really means is there's just basically extra fabric, drags on the ground. It takes me back to the early, like, late 90s, early 2000s uh -huh. with the draggy jeans. You yes. see the holes in the back of them. Yep. You know, and I think we're going to see a lot more of that. And for our younger or anybody who feels so inclined, you're going to see it with a low rise again. Oh now, no. <laughs> for those of us. Oh no, I don't know if I'm ready for low rise again. Yeah, I have yeah. no doubt in my mind that manufacturers are going to go with what the people want, which is a natural mid or high rise jean. But we are seeing it on the runways with a lower cut. Now something like this, it's a great way to pair it with like a cropped cardigan. Yeah. So you can see with this pair here, they're really fitted on the top, right? So these yeah. puddles are fitted. And so you can go wide, you can go crop. And that way you're going to have space to see this waistline where it's defined. That's going to be the cutest way to wear that. Now, if they were flowy and loose, like loose puddles all the way around the bottom, then you would go with a bodysuit again. Now, this is a look because this is a tighter fitted jean with a wide crop. This would be great for an apple shaped person. So for a person who is bigger on top and has has longer slender legs. This is going to be an awesome look to showcase their legs. It's going to be tight around the thigh and then it's going to have more fabric on the top. That's going to be a really balanced look for a person with that body shape. So when you're looking for outfits, it's almost like the first thing to do is kind of think, what shape am I? What, what am I going for? Because trying to go, just because you like an outfit, it may yeah. not like you back. <laughs> Absolutely. And so I always say to people, like, go where your eyes drawn first, but then know when you look at the lines. I'm a big fan of, like, where will this be tight on me? Uh -huh. Where will this be loose on me? What are the parts of me that I'm ex is super excited to show off? And what are the parts of me that I'm a little bit more ready to conceal? Now, caveat, wear whatever you want, whatever shape you are. You're right. going to look amazing if you're confident. But if you're looking to find things that are more slimming or what you would think of as stereotypically flattering, then those are going to be the rules you want to live by. The things that I want to show off, I'm going to let be tighter, brighter, lighter. The things that I'm hoping to conceal, looser, darker, 
and without many prints. Right, and this is when fashion gets so hard because sometimes if you're like, I just want to conceal all of this, <laughs> then you end up wearing like something the big, memo. and then you look <laughs> bigger than you are, and you know yes. what I mean? So it's just like, uh, like you said, listen, if you're comfortable in it and you feel good, you do you, rock it. Finding the piece to embrace is the most important part, like you said, so yes. you don't end up covering up. You find something you love, you really go with that, you show it off, and then you build your outfit around it. I love it. Tell us, because you are here, you know, representing Clothes Mentor. You got two locations. Tell us how it works. Are you looking for us to bring in clothes right now? Yeah, absolutely. So New Year's resolutions, we have a lot of people cleaning out. We always say if you purchased it after 2020, we love it. We pay cash on the spot for items we can purchase from our customers. Everything's locally sourced from people in the upstate. I love it. So you can turn in some stuff, make money, and then get some new stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> so I love it, Miss Sadie. Thank you so much. Thanks for being our first fashion guest of the of the year. So excited for 2023. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You got it, love.